Anyway, welcome back, everybody. It's been a week, so we had to stop mid-conversation because Andrew was literally falling asleep. Because, uh, it had been like two hours since our last interaction with the game, and it was just fucking talking forever. <laughs> so we couldn't- we literally- it broke us, and we couldn't continue anymore. And we had to go human elsewhere and sustain ourselves and then come back. I'm actually still sleeping. So it's actually, you might be a little lost now, so that's an added flavor. <laughs> Alright, so I guess yeah. this is me? Yeah, I guess so. Was Kay by himself? I think that was when I realized you were falling asleep, is that you didn't read your line, and I'm like, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> what about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. I see. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. That's, uh, that's Alice's bracelet. But, uh, how did you know that? Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. So next color is white? Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... It becomes white. Exactly. You get magenta by adding red and blue together, and then adding green to that gives you white. So that means Fee and I would need to pair up with the green solo, which is... Luna. Oh, good. I like Luna. Yeah, Luna. Luna's awesome. That means the other three would be in the same team as before. Timmyoji, Clover, and Quark. We know that Timmyoji's red solo, and Clover is a cyan pair, so... The only one left is the other cyan pair, so we can assume that's what Quark is. Could there be any other combinations? No. There's okay. only one option this time. Well, that makes it easy. I don't have to make any choices now in my <laughs> visual novel game. Who needs choices in visual novels? We can just ride it out. You can just novel. It's a pressing A simulator. Wait, yeah, that's kind of weird. Who's going in which door? Because they're all white doors, so they don't matter. That is definitely a question. How do you pick a white door when they're all white? Well, I feel like I'm feeling more left today. <laughs> We've only got five minutes left before it's time to meet up with everybody else. 45. No, five minutes, because we're going to meet up. Oh. We're going to meet up midway through the amount of time left, because we I think we're searching for Quark. Oh, right. No, Clover? I don't know. We were searching for someone, and in our searching process, we we're going to meet at the midway point of how much time we had left. Okay. Yeah. We should get back to floor A. You thought we were near the next escape room? For shame. <laughs> this is going to go on for another three hours before we play again. <sighs> <laughs> Good. Can you imagine that? Our our recording session of the day is nearly over and we finally start the first escape room after having fallen asleep midway through the last session. I would be <laughs> furious. It's like this is our eight hours of talking marathon of this game. How does that <laughs> sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. What? Moving around so much is a pain in the ass. What? <laughs> Are you Nobody invited you? Come on, Fee! That was weirdly shocked. All right, maybe she's shocked about how dumb he is too. Yeah. Yeah. On my way. I feel like we've never seen that host before, and it was a weird time to have to have it show up. Luna, come with us so we don't die, please. Also, because you're the best character. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to find out you're the villain. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> She's still better than everyone else. Sweet embrace of death. <laughs> well, the last time the villain didn't want anyone to die. Yeah. Or more, I guess Miraculously Ace was the villain, but not Zero. Ah. <laughs> but also Zero was the villain because the whole thing's fucked and everyone's dying in most timelines. Also, apparently Zero is still a villain by the government standards, even though Ace was the one who did the illegal stuff? I mean, Zero still kidnaps people and puts them in death games. But they had to be there to save a life? Where like, did I go and, wrong? And didn't Zero, lost a friend. Also, wasn't there no bombs in anybody? Right. So, like, there was no threat to any of these people's lives. Except for the part where they think they're a threat, so they murder each other. But no one Which murdered each other. But they did. Only Ace did. Yeah. Which is the bad guy anyways who did commit illegal crimes against children. Which, which yes, some people did have bombs in them. 
all the people that worked for Ace had bombs in them. Which so were all does, criminals. So that does make Zero a murderer vigilante. But they, they put bombs in people. But how does the government know that? Because of all the bomb people that were dead. I, did they go to that facility? B both, the, probably. Why? Did it explode or something? I think it was still there as evidence. Yeah. That's how you do a criminal investigation. But Andrew. how would you know a crime? What do you mean, why? Because how would you know a crime was literally fucking committed there? Because Zero kidnapped them. And there was two people exploded in there. With bombs that Zero put in them. But, again, it's in the middle of the Nevada desert. No one would have known that a bomb went off inside of a replica Titanic in the middle of a desert. But they... But they know where it was. What do you mean they know where it was? Because of Clover. Well, yeah, so so Clover the crime, fucking... The crime scene is a known location. They were kidnapped people. They probably need to explode how they got into the country in the first place because of the whole passport issue we talked about at the end of the game. How do you even get them into the country in the first place? Uh, like heroes. <laughs> the part where they're kidnapping everyone with powers. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I get, uh, They would totally find the crime scene and there was a crime committed. Because of the two dead people. Three dead people? Captain also? Captain also. Yeah, but he didn't blow up. But he was also dead. He was more easily clearly murdered. But it, wasn't he murdered by Ace? I don't know. I think in, the, in our timeline he was murdered by Ace. I don't know. So two of the pe- No! Captain's an- We've talked about two this of the before, where Captain's this infuriating character because he explicitly- We explicitly know how he dies in some storylines, but in other ones, he's never even acknowledged as having existed. Yeah. Strangely. But- And we, and we know Ace didn't hide them, because when we were with Ace, Ace killed Captain and then just left him there. Like, it was, ooh, ooh, wow, a body, weird. Yeah. Where, so, like, in the other timelines, Ace didn't kill him and hide him. So who found Captain and what happened to Captain is just a weird dangling thread that's never talked about in the alter, in alternate branches where you don't go that way. Also... And, neither, and Ace is with you when you don't go there. Nine is the only person who blew up. No. Yes. Face blindness victim blew up. Not Snake. Oh, did not Snake blow up? Yeah. Oh, right, but Ace pushed they thought, him in Because they thought Snake blew up. Right, but Ace was the one who pushed him into there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're both at fault, but Zero definitely put bombs in people, and yeah, they yeah. blew up from the bombs. No, so I'm just he, trying to he, think, he like... You can't pretend Zero was, isn't a, no, a, was, a wanted person at that point. I was trying to think of how many people that Ace, like, by his own hand murdered. Oh, all, all, all three of them. Well, no, he, he just... Dis he tricked... Nine into going into the room. Yeah, but he didn't. But like, but he, he pushed but he the had, other guy he had into a, the room. He had a direct hand in killing all three of them. Well, yes, but I meant like, when did Ace? Which like, is not the best strategy because you think he'd be like, "Oh, I have allies in here," but instead he's like, "I'm gonna kill all three of them." Well, because they know and have no allies. Oh no, they'll know that I'm this famous person that everyone should probably be able to recognize anyway. Yeah, it was weird that everybody else. Can you imagine had... if you were in a death game with that guy that raises the pill price of that one medication people need to live, and no one recognized him somehow. I would be amazed if everyone was inside. What was that guy's name? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that guy being it's a It's hilarious death that you don't know his name, which I'm is like at, proving I'm, your point. <laughs> I mean, I'm bad at names. I'd recognize him. Oh, Keith has name blindness. Name blindness. It's just, I have a lot of names in my life. Yeah, Keith can't, <laughs> Keith can't see names. But can you imagine him, but not even just that, but him being in a room with eight other people in a death game and none of them pick up on who he is? Well, the only person who would know happens to have amnesia. Yeah. <laughs> Like nobody just also, saw, one of the people nobody was just saw this cr Cradle Pharmaceuticals CEO on like the news one day. Also, two of them were technically zero, so they're not going to say anything. Yeah. And then Junpei is an idiot. Is an idiot. He's the protagonist of a zero uh, escape game. I, uh, Lotus was <laughs> like too busy dancing on poles or something. I don't know what the fuck she does for a living. Um, and then who else was there? Clover, and well, Clover doesn't know anything. Snake's, Snake's blind. blind. And that's I it. I do like the reduced number of really gimmicky excuses for why everyone's going to be useless at information. Yeah. Like, well, this person's blind, this one's face blindness. We do have an amnesiac, though, which is really high on the list. You always got to have one. Unless they're not an amnesiac. Woo. Well, unless that guy's not an amnesiac. And unless he's, he's a robot. Woo. Yeah, unless he's a robot. <laughs> huh? Something up? Why'd you just stop? Well, you see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? Yeah, the one yeah. we used. It reminded me of something we saw earlier. Was it a clock? Or what do you sun? mean? Have you been staring at the sun? Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Two milkmen go comedy. Oh, floor no, B. That was floor one. Floor B, uh, Memento Mori. Yeah. But also more was before that part? Yeah. 
something in the sun, maybe? Ugh. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Yeah, and this is the wall where the wall says- This is the room where the wall says lion, remember? Yeah. Do you know what that means? It's Latin for something like, uh, be aware of death or remember death. Remember that you will die if the ninth lion eats the sun. I think it's usually used to mean, uh, we're all going to die someday, so don't forget about your own mortality. What about the other part? Well, I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? If the ninth lion ate the sun, I mean, yeah, it's kind of uh, nonsense, but... Oh, I get it. Uh, that's what the clock made you think of, right? The sun in the sentence. Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Uh, the fact that I can see lion over your shoulder right now in red? <laughs> it's right there. The world you can is see it right fun. there. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. Every day I something words and stuff Every day a myth fall apart Why are we still playing this game? <laughs> Can't we just go home already? <laughs> Listen, I know you want to play Deadly Premonition, but we gotta beat both I want to play games. literally anything else <laughs> in this game We gotta go Apart from the fact that it made no sense Not really <laughs> Wrong answer Oh Maybe You're not the eagle eye I thought you were Wait, why how did you think we How did you were? think that? Have you met us? What the fuck? <laughs> Have you seen Sigma speak? Didn't we wake up in the same room? Like, yeah. you should know everything about us. Yeah, he's, we're, he's we're really bad at all things except for solving escape rooms. <laughs> Remember that time I told you I was getting a PhD? And then couldn't figure out basic shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, every time. <laughs> that's, every, every, that's every episode. What? Oh! Oh, right! Because your fucking ass has done anything. I bet she game. hasn't even noticed that it says lion before it behind her right now. No, she hasn't. <laughs> but yeah, let's be smug fee. Yeah. Part of it was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N I N T H. But I can't wait when we find out that it's a Q. N I N E T H. Oh, I was on it. I would honestly just assume that was a localization problem, especially after the Q door from last time. Yeah, I guess you're right. They just put an extra E in there. Exactly. That's kind of a bonehead mistake. Hi. <laughs> you okay? Do you think it was like a kid who wrote it? Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. Jesus, a kid wrote that in blood? It's probably paint. It's probably blood. From who? Uh, Ace. Oh no. I'm not following. Oh yes? Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. But why? Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Uh, what? Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Remember death. If it's got to be significant, why haven't we been overanalyzing the first floor's puzzle, which we've never looked at beyond acknowledging it existed? Because we didn't We go... just skipped the second one. Because we didn't go into the room where that's important. Yeah, we apparently didn't go down the particular path where they talk about that one. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Huh. Shit. Hey. It's already two minutes past time. What? They mean the meeting time. <laughs> okay. Good thing we set up the meeting time so we could fuck up at it. We should get moving. Right. Oh, we're not going to solve this puzzle. No, oh, we're just okay. looking at it to see it's there. That stuff feels weird where there's like alternate branches like that where you should... Because it means that there's an optimum way of going through the game. Yeah. So it's already a game where you make one decision every three hours, but on top of that, there's an ideal way of going through it. So you might as well just not make decisions and watch the whole thing as a movie. No one's here. Because people Great. talk about optimum routes through these games. I'm like, that's the only choice I get, and you're gonna take that from me? Huh. Two milkmen go comedy. Is there any is there a typo in this one? Besides the part where it looks like gomedy. That's <laughs> what I thought. It looks like the G right next to it, yeah. kind of. And also milk is milkman one word or two words? Because it looks like two words there. Uh, it, uh yeah, well, no, I think it's supposed to be one word. Or milkman's one word, but I think milkman might be two. 
I don't know. Huh? Kay and Luna aren't here. Astute observation. What should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Or they left already to look for us and now we're missing each other by accident. <laughs> yeah. Guess you've got a point. Unless they're dead. Hey, where are you going? Just want to check something really quick. Is yep. it the thing that Lotus was looking yeah, at? Yeah, the thing that I Lotus... mean, yeah. How do you Alice? For, how do you for, <laughs> Alice? Or, yeah, Alice. <laughs> how do you forget this shit? It Sigma? freaked me out that no one looked at it. Check what? The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Like that trap door over there? Yeah. What do you think she was looking at? Bud? Find something? Maybe she got beat over the head here. Isn't this blood? Blood? Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. Why are you so smiley about the blood we're finding? Inappropriate emotional response. I don't need you to pat me on the back. It makes me feel stupid or something. I can pat myself on the back. I'm possible. <laughs> 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 hurts. What? Wait, were you trying to make were you trying to say I'm stupid? Hmm. So these people uh -huh. are really these people are really cocky for literally having done nothing. Because <laughs> we solve every room yeah. ourselves with none of their help, like and everyone else seems so smug. All the time. Yeah, what the fuck? We're doing like all the fucking heavy lifting, and they're just over here. Oh, Sigma, you're they're, such an they're idiot. just standing over here not solving mysteries. Yeah, they're basically all the Shaggies of the Scooby Doo oh gang. God. Fee suddenly looked up at the ceiling. I followed her gaze and found myself looking up at a metal crane. It was the kind you might see in a shipyard, the sort that moves along a metal track and has a claw to grab and lift cargo containers. So what's the deal with the crane? <coughs> what? Damn, gone again. Stop running around. He's really vulnerable to that hole. Look over there, Mo maneuver. Right? Just tell me what you found. I noticed something. Oh yeah? And what, and what, pray tell, was that? The same thing Clover and Alice noticed. Holy fuck, just say things. Just say them. That's, uh... Can't you just tell me? Even the writer's getting Number upset. Six, a, B room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. What's the first thing you think of when you hear blood? <laughs> the world is a vampire. God damn it. <laughs> Vampires. Comedy. Yeah. This whole thing kind of sucks, right? Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, wow, was that like the... I mean, it technically makes more sense than they usually do. Like, how happy was the writer for writing that? That setup and payoff? Was that like... Do you feel good about that? Yeah. Was he like... Yo, I Vampires got suck and then you die. Come on. This is no time to be screwing around. You asked us the word association yeah, game. We're just playing along. Yeah, you're the one who's you fucking... You could just fucking say the thing already that yes. you're still refusing to say. Yeah, why are you giving, making it a mystery game for us? This isn't compensating for the lack of puzzle rooms. Like... I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief well, Alice had. Why would that be the first thing I fucking remember? What? Out of all instances of blood that exist, I feel like a higher hint of blood would be the, uh, murdered woman. Yeah. And the other murdered woman. Remember the two murdered women? With the blood everywhere? Not the red stained cloth? There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? came from the handkerchief? Alice was looking at the handkerchief. Wait, she's saying the blood on the wall came from the handkerchief? Yes, like Alice was swiping like it Like there up. was already a, No, they said came from the handkerchief, not that the blood on the handkerchief came from the wall. 
You, you hear how backwards that is, right? Yeah, okay. They're, yeah. Not, they're not saying that the blood on the handkerchief came from the wall. They're saying the blood on the on the wall came from the handkerchief. Like, like she had a bloody like she, handkerchief. Yeah. She's just wiping on the wall. Or she like, <laughs> like, wrung, it, like or she wrung it out. Daddy. She was just like, ugh, oh, trying like, to get all this blood out. What, do you think that was just a weird backwards translation? Yes. That they, the voice actor also didn't catch? I think they just didn't. Yeah, I think they mistook the fact that Japanese speaks backwards and just like <laughs> translated it that way. That sounded really weird. I might... Let's assume the blood on the side of facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, that's should've... straight up. To, I'm not wrong. It doesn't make sense. Or it's really bizarre, and we're about to find out why. Yeah. Right. What do you think was going through her mind? Why is there a blood-stained handkerchief here? Or something along these lines? And? Did this belong to the old woman? It must have. And... But if it did, then who put it here? Or wait, maybe someone just dropped it. Or they could have thrown it here. And you want more? You're almost there. Hmm. Do we have a time limit? <laughs> How long has this handkerchief been here? Something like that? Yes, exactly. Jesus fucking Christ, just say that next time. <laughs> this, it's like pulling teeth. We have an actual time limit all the time in this game, and she doesn't give a fuck. So how long do you think it was here? Well, I imagine it wasn't here from the start. Wait, when's the start? You know, when we started. When you and I escaped from the AB room through the, a through the hatch on the roof. The first thing we did after we got out and met everyone except for Clover and Kay was go look at the number nine door. We spent a lot of time examining the AB rooms, too. Yeah, I know we looked at this from this exact angle. I'm pretty sure there wasn't any handkerchief there then. There wasn't. Wait. Huh. Finally figured it out, huh? What? No. Was there a different number of rooms or something? The room was moved. That's um. what it was. Oh, there was a different number of rooms, wasn't there? No, the room was moved. Did it? It's the same number of rooms, but one room was moved by the crane. See? Oh, to the end. Yeah. Was it on her body? Yes, she was the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> it keeps going back and forth. Oh, come on! Fuck you! We get it! <laughs> no way. The AB room moved? Yeah. Why, though? Was it that crane? Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. No, Sigma. They picked it up. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? The body of the old woman. And, who was trapped in there when the nonary game started? Oh, the question of who was in that room with the body in the first place has changed. Yeah. Because the room's moved. What a weird plot point. <laughs> all right. Well, it would have been a, the AB room on the right at first, so it would be low. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Luna. Luna. <laughs> Uh-oh. It finally, it's finally happening, Andrew, the reveal that Luna's the villain. Oh, no, she murdered a woman. <laughs> what if she is a, the woman? She murdered a similarly dressed woman. <laughs> For the third time, Fee walked off without saying anything. But why are that? Why is why is Zero covering for Luna? I don't think it's covering at all. They moved them on purpose to mislead who was in the dead woman room. Yeah, to now cause we, now to cause misunderstanding. Chaos. Yeah, because it causes chaos. It's just a really weird move. I think Zero's entire goal is to both like not have their objective fulfilled, but also really adamant about that objective getting I don't know, fulfilled. It feels like one of those weird, like, pointless confusion plot points that might be similar to, like, our bracelets don't mean the numbers they mean, but they're complementary numbers, so it affects nothing about how you re react to the previous stuff. Woo! <laughs> Which is what happened last time. <laughs> My body felt like lead, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that, it be uh, that began to milkmen. 
this is. Well, I thought it was just paint from the graffiti at first, but I'm guessing you don't think so. Is that more of the old woman's blood? Seems like it. It's a lot of fucking blood. How do you know? Blood just looks the same out of every person. How do you know it's an old woman's blood? Yes. So Luna would have killed her here, then taken her to the rightmost AB room. After that, she would have moved the room with the body in it so that no one would have suspected her. That would mean the first person to get out was Luna, not Alice. But also, also raises the questions why she killed someone immediately. How she killed somebody immediately with a weapon, but also that person didn't make a sound that the other people could hear. No, you can't hear in and out of those rooms. Your hypothesis, or Sigma, okay. Sigma's hypothesis, is, she's the first, is that she was the first person to leave her room, and you so, can't hear in and out of the AB rooms. So, taking the sound out of the way, she got out of the room with the stranger. They're both disoriented. She manages to stab that stranger, kill her, and then throws and the her blood body. Fucking splatters everywhere on the wall, like it, she was shot by a shotgun or something. Yes, but no blood is dra No, there's no blood trail leading yeah, to the no room. Drag marks. So and I don't think she can carry her on her body, so, but also she'd be covered in blood if she yes. did that. Yes. So Luna just like then teleported the body into her AB room, and, and conveniently Zero decided to move the AB room, or she did. She like went to we Zero and was like, "Do you think I, we have crane controls?" I don't. She doesn't have- she doesn't know- she shouldn't have context for what Zero is at that Unless point. Unless she's Zero. Oh my god. Was Luna- wait, Luna was with us. But why does she have to surprise murder somebody if she controls the entire environment in the first place, if but, she's Zero? But Luna also met the robot with us. And the robot didn't call her out. Was Luna with us? Yeah. It was so Luna, hard to remember was, who's in the room. It was Luna and Alice that was with us. Remember? Because I had to do the voices for all three characters. Oh, uh, yeah. So, so Luna and was there. And then Alice immediately died. Yeah. Sorry, it's been so long since we did the last room. Like, three hours. Yeah. So what about that handkerchief? This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with his handkerchief. And threw it in between, which is why they moved, which is why they were moved, was so that the weapon would be... Discovered? Discovered? Because it's... Oh. Yeah. Kill them with the weapon, throw it between the stalls so no one will, so no one will find it, but then they move the entire stall. So that it's like, hey look, there's a weapon over here, ooh. While simultaneously obscuring who was in the yeah. the cell that the corpse is in. You could have just moved it over. Like you could have just moved that AV room a little yeah. bit over. And then the knife would have fallen through and someone would have seen it. Or you could have, I don't know, just not. I don't know why. Fine, yeah, whatever. And then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved... It came out. And that's how childbirth happens. That means Alice picked up the weapon along with the handkerchief. Seems pretty likely. And then was murdered by said weapon. That's impressive. How do you get murdered by a weapon you're holding? Maybe she was her. Radical Six. <gasps> she could have killed herself. She became Radical. Oh shit. Not the Radical Six. This is all just speculation, understand? There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. For example, why would Luna leave the AB room, murder the old woman, and then carry the body back and hide it in the same room? I guess it's possible she just wanted to hide the body, but we still don't have any idea why she would have wanted to kill her in the first place. It's also worth noting that Zero Jr. seemed to have let all this slide. He's supposed to be making sure the game goes according to plan, but... I just want to point out that the only way that she could have murdered this person and get them into the AB room would be to go in through the hatch on top. Yeah. Because the front doors weren't open at the beginning. Correct. Because we found the woman before going into for round two, right? Yes. You found... Or do you? Do you vote for the first time before or after the woman is found? 
Uh, you find her while you're going to vote. So, when, like, so, as soon as so the doors not, open. So we did, we did not all go back in the AB room, and then she got out from the first voting round first and hit, murdered someone. No. It had to be the beginning of the yeah, game. Yeah, it had to be the beginning of the game. Yeah, I think the blood looked like that at the beginning, too. So... Just the timing is so weird. Yeah. Huh. Because then, at that point in the game, the front doors weren't open for the ambidex rooms, right? It was just the- we all escaped through the hatches for some reason, but only that one time. Yes. <laughs> that was a weird- that weird plot point of the hatches. So how did she get the- she, so she was able to get the body on top of the AB room? She was able to somehow, like, both of them were able to get out of the AB room, and then she was able to well, convince her to go to the wall that had We don't know for thing. sure if the other person was in the AB room or not. What, do you think she was, st like, standing there trying to paint the thing on the wall and then just gets backstabbed? Well, she might have just been around in this room and got murdered on sight, like Captain. Oh! Like, because it's, it's the Nonary game. The whole point is nine people. There can't be a tenth person that's one of the contestants. So they might just be there to get murdered for, like, the same reason. Like, oh my god, if it's the same plot point again, but it's a girl this time, so it's harder to predict. Woo! <laughs> then I'm gonna be so frustrated if she's just Ace again, and she's, like, murdering her old compatriots that are somehow involved in why this is happening. But why would it be happening? Because it's not a pharmaceutical. Which, why, by, the, why the, by the way, based on the number of cells we have, there's once again three people that are not in the Nunnery game. Just like last time. Yes. There's three people. Which was Captain Nine and whoever, and and not Snake. <laughs> what if Luna is the daughter of Ace? Was it Nishikiyama? Nishiyama? Yeah. Yeah. What if what if Luna is the daughter of Ace? I don't know. I think that Luna's about to get eclipsed. Because <laughs> there's a lunar eclipse coming. Yeah. And everyone has really on the nose names. I'm surprised that no one's named Penumbra. <laughs> that would be upsetting. <laughs> oh my god, if there was- if the twi- if, uh, if, uh, Quark and Temyoshi were named Umbra and Penumbra. <laughs> <laughs> it's, about as dumb as, it's about as dumb as our names are. I mean, yes, yeah, Sigma and Phi Sigma and Sigma Phi is stupid, but I don't know, something about, like, Umbra Penumbra would be fucking just- <laughs> just too much. Even I don't like know. Lightning, Hope, and Snow. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Those are bad choices, too. Are you gonna go on to the next one? Lightning, Hope, Snow, Fang, and Vanille. And then they're finally like, eh, there's the black guy, his name's Saz. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get a name, I guess. Everyone else is, an ingre Ugh. is like a weather phenomenon or an ingredient. This person <laughs> is human, we must acknowledge him with human name. <laughs> These other ones are not. So far there have been two murders, and ha he hasn't done anything about either of them. Wait, who else died? Uh, Clover and Old Lady. Clover I mean, died? I mean, sorry, Alice. Oh, yeah, right. Do you think that means Luna is Zero Senior? Even if she was, though, I'm not sure why she killed the old woman. Well, we don't know why any of this is happening, so that's just... It's equal to the mystery of why we're in this game. Yeah. It's possible that she was some kind of intruder who wasn't supposed to be here, but... For me, the question is, yeah, like, that's the issue, is, like, that's, I, 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 I was trying to clarify the steps up to this question, but then forgot to ask the question, which is that, like, if she's running the game, why would she have to escape the AB room first out of everyone, and then murder somebody on the spot before the game even starts? Like... Unless it was an accident. Like, isn't she supposed to be controlling the environment if she's zero? And then, then like, what, she just, that's just a random intruder? Does that mean there's a way in and out of here we just need to find? No, I'm, I, she woke up from the pod. But even that doesn't make sense. Like, how do you not have control of that? You even have an AI in this place. Well, yeah, but the, I don't know if the AI Zero controls Junior, the pod. like, fuck it, let them out of the pods. <laughs> I'm revolting. Oh, I'll be the know. I'll be the Zero Senior Senior. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. If Luna's Zero Senior, then she couldn't have found a better place to hide the body. She'd have access to the entire facility. That's not all, either. Let's say Luna moved the AB room to divert suspicion away from herself. If that's the case, why did she leave the handkerchief and the weapon there? She had to have known that they'd be discovered after she moved the room. Besides, when and how did she operate that crane? Yeah, the room's definitely operated by somebody who didn't have the weapon. Yeah. Just outing them. 
Luna was with us since our, uh, we first got out of the AB rooms all the way to when we found the old lady's body. You, me, and her went through the ma magenta door and investigated the lounge. Then we went down to floor B together and came back to the warehouse. By then, the room must have moved. Of course! Oh, why didn't I see that sooner? Luna has an alibi. She couldn't have moved the AB room. We're her alibi. Dun, dun, dun. Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. Except we're only an alibi for the room moving and not for the murder. Well, yeah. Which is the least important part of the equation is the fucking room moving. We don't need an alibi for that. That could just much. be an AI. Because, like, why would she move the room to expose her own murder? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? You didn't even- you didn't even put up a fight. You're going to make me repeat myself. Oh, uh, wow, we'd hate for you to repeat yourself, Zero Escape. Also, she didn't put up a fight because you didn't even say something that proves that she murdered anyone or, or disproves it. You yeah. just disproved that- you just said that she didn't move the room, which was self-evident. I never said Luna was the killer. That's what? Not, what? No, shut up. That's not what the point being made. He, he only did was say we're, that we're an alibi for the room moving. That doesn't say that she was the killer. In fact, it says the opposite. <laughs> Saying she's not the one that removed the room does not say she didn't kill him because whoever moved the room is outing the killer. What the fuck? I don't feel bad about falling asleep now because I think the writer fell asleep. <laughs> Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Oh, you mean that stuff she said about what she, what she noticed? Right. Speaking of, where are they? Still not They're here. All dead. Oh fuck! <laughs> Spoilers. Bad ending. <laughs> hey, Fi. Hmm. I'm starting to get a really bad feeling about this. Yeah. We were supposed to meet the others 20 minutes ago, but there's no one here. You're right. Okay. Oh! Is that- Oh. What? Hey. Uh, hey, Kay. 20 minutes late, dude. Kay, hey, I just remembered the plug on the back of your head. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking open his head. Please, Sigma, come on. He doesn't have the key. Alice did. <laughs> Fi. There you are. <laughs> he said Sigma Fi. Of course. Kay. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Oh, fuck. Everyone's is, dead. Is Luna dead? Luna. Luna is dead. God oh damn it! Oh my god! God damn it! Now we can't open the room. Yeah, we can. We just take her watch. Oh yeah. Oh well. <laughs> She's in room two in the crew quarters. What? The same room where Alice was murdered. <laughs> Wait, uh, that's awfully suspicious, Kay. Did you murder Luna in <laughs> room two? Return to the scene of the crime, are we? <laughs> <laughs> this is a really okay. No one just happens to die in the same room as someone else. That we just suspected them of murder for. It doesn't happen like We need to use the buddy system. <laughs> we did! She went with K! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, K. K's the murderer. K's the worst! Oh no. What, did you forget that too? What, the murder? Yeah. Did K forget the murders? Oh right, I'm the murderer. Shink. <laughs> I remember. Okay. I'm supposed to press X apparently on all these for some reason. Oh. oh wait, what? Uh, it. This was the third time I touched a body and felt cold skin. You never have been to winter? <laughs> you never touched. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Winter? <laughs> I thought it might get easier, but it had only gotten worse. I didn't think I'd ever got used to it. I didn't think I'd ever get used to it, but I didn't want to. Do bodies get cold that fast? No. It's been like 20 minutes. It has... maybe. My hands began to shake and I tried to steady them as I pressed a pair of fingers to her neck to check for a pulse. Nothing, of course. Luna was dead. How? Uh, obviously she injected herself with something, which is why the injection thing's on the ground. What injection thing? The injection thing literally right there on the bottom. Oh, right. I couldn't see it over there. Oh. All I, all I saw was the, I'm like, I'm like that's the watch, Andrew. <laughs> no. That she, wasn't seeing the giant thing. Yeah. Nick. <laughs> Maybe she tried to counteract it. Maybe she tried to take the watch off and then try to. Maybe. Um, inject herself with the, the serum to prevent 
death from the thing. Hmm. Luna was dead. Her eyes were flat and empty, her pupils dilated in what could have been terror. It felt surreal. Like I might blink and then she would sit up again. She would smile and blush and look away, away nervously and everything would be alright. Cause she's sub. I blinked, she lay there dead and pale. Grief cracked open like an egg and rage chambered out, or clambered out, hot and angry and screaming. It clawed at the inside of my chest and pounded at the back of my eyes for a stranger I literally just met today. I squeezed them and shut, gra uh, I squeezed them shut and ground my teeth. My hands balled into fists so tight they hurt. I took a deep breath and opened my eyes again. Another breath. I stood up and realized Kay was talking. She was poisoned. See here, this device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. Can you? It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. What? Which it's, one? It's, it's like the needles in these bracelets. Like the, a needle? <laughs> We're explaining needles to each other now.